Hello and welcome. Today we'll start with the last unit of your 12th class biology book which is ecology and this unit is very important for your board exams. This unit has been divided into four chapters and we will start with the first chapter which is organism and population. This chapter has been divided into four main topics. The first one is levels of biological organization, major biomes of India and the major abiotic factors. The second one is responses to the abiotic factors and adaptation. The third one is population, its characteristic, growth and growth models and the last one is population interaction. So let's start with the first topic. Here you see beautiful night blooming flowers. Do you ever wonder why these flowers are white in color? See our nature is amazingly beautiful and complex and bewildering. And whenever we closely observe our nature, we come up with many questions in our mind. So in order to try to solve all these questions, ecology will help us to answer these questions. So do you wonder why these flowers are white in color? Or how do the bee know which flower has nectar? How does it recognize the flower? Or why do cactus has so many thorns? So to answer all these questions, we study ecology. So here we study the introduction part. Ecology term was coined by Ritter. But in India, Ram Deo Misra is considered or revered as father of ecology. Let's try to understand the word ecology. What does it mean? What does it stand for? So here we see that ecology is actually a subject. It's a subject of study which studies two type of interactions. Number one is the interaction among organisms and number two is the interaction between the organism and its physical environment. So the first interaction is interaction among organism that is this one. Among organism by this we mean between plants, animals and microbes. So these all components they interact among each other and between the organism and physical environment we mean between me and my physical environment physical environment means temperature sunlight rainfall soil etc so there is an interaction and what kind of interaction that we'll discuss in the later part of the chapter so let's start with the level of biological organization so the first level is organism that is the single individual of a given species for example a tiger is an organism it is a single individual of tiger species second level is population that is grouping together of all the individuals living in a given area that forms the population so all the tigers living in a jungle form the tiger population after that we have community community means many populations living together that is a tiger population a deer population a lion population an elephant population together living in a jungle forms the community after that we have ecosystem at the level of ecosystem we have biotic as well as abiotic components interacting together to make it a self-sufficient unit of nature after that we have landscape this is composed of many ecosystem together and it has a natural boundary and a larger geographical area. After that we have biome. A biome has a specific climate, specific flora and fauna of its own and the last unit is biosphere which means the whole life supporting zone of earth. So these are the levels of biological organizations. After that we see ecology deals at which level? So ecology deals at these four levels, organism, population, community and biome. So basically ecology is concerned with all these four levels but in our first chapter we'll be dealing with organism and population. Hence the name of the chapter is organisms and population. So that's all in this segment. I hope Whatever we discussed in this segment is clear to you. So let's move to the next segment.